What's up, YouTube? We're going to make our own video tonight on how to take these F-150 headlights out. This is a 2014 F-150. I don't like how everything's lined in chrome. I just replaced the taillights with uh, the ones that were black instead of chrome, so I figured may as well make the front look the same. So, let's get to it. First, we're going to pop out this little deal here. Followed by this little doohickey here. I guess you call these grommets. I'm going to put them here so we can lose them here in a minute. Looks like we got three three bolts holding this in. You got one, two, and then you got one around the front side. Come over here, mud. One, two, three. So I'm going to use my handy dandy Milwaukee. My Milwaukee shit. I can get the shit out of there, we'll be all right. Oh, this is a stupid fucking one. I don't like that one. Hey, Milwaukee, you're going to make a fucking adapter for a 3.8 socket. How about one that actually stays in your fucking uh, impact, like this, which actually came from DeWalt. Anyways, I think it's a 10 millimeter. Yep, one, two, remember put them right there so when they fall down you can't find them later. And there's the third. Let's put them up here by the battery so if it rolls into this shit maybe we can get a spark. A lot of people like to unhook the negative battery cable. I think I'm smart enough not to shorten this shit out while I'm fucking with it so I'm not going to worry about that. So you got three bolts and one grommet that held this little rubber shit here, which basically just keeps the wet and dirt out of your shit. Don't let kids watch this video because I'm smoking. Give it a good tug. Comes right out. You got your connections back here. You can unplug them or you can twist them out and take them out, but I'm just going to unplug them. Nope. I'm going to just do that because that's even easier, especially that's the one you don't want to touch. You touch that one on your headlight bulb and most likely the oils from your skin will make that bulb burn out real quick. So just take it out, set it down, pull that shit out, take that shit out. Yep, looks like a headlight. I would think that nothing rubber should go in the oven. I think this is a rubber seal. Just pull that shit off. Leave it down here. No, no sense taking it to where your oven is. That's plastic. Oh, that shit's plastic. There's a clippy. I'm not going to worry about that shit. So that's basically what you got here. You got little retaining clips that go around the headlight. All the way around. We're going to throw this shit in the oven. Look at that. There's some old glue right there from the factory. Looks pretty hard. Anyways, so it's probably not that soft, pliable, butyl glue that you see the guys using on TV or your YouTube shit. So uh, let's run upstairs and throw it in the fucking oven. See you in a second. Go. Hey, I ought to take this one up with us too same time seems that we need to make them both even though I don't think they'll both fit in the oven at the same time let's take that rubber shit off don't forget it probably ought to wash the dusty dirt off this shit when we get up there so it doesn't bake on that dirt kind of like throwing your clothes in a dryer and getting a stain, a stain set in all right let's go upstairs All right, folks, made it upstairs to where the tool is, the oven. We're going to put it on 325 degrees, and we're going to give it a try for about, oh, I don't know, 15 minutes. And we'll see how that goes, 15 minutes. Um, I've watched other YouTube videos, and they say 
don't let it touch any of the sides. I would imagine so you don't melt your shit down. So let's throw this bitch in the oven and see how it goes. too close to the, the top element. So, I'll move it down. So, unlike cookies, don't put it in the center. This ain't no chocolate chips, bitches. So, start to me. There we go. Let's try the 15, we'll get back to you at 15. <laughs> 